Now, at some point, we're all going to run into this particular error. This is something that tends to drive us crazy at one time or another, and it's caused when one or more of our layers in an ArcMap document are not drawing. Uh, and we can usually tell that they're not drawing because even if they're checked, the check mark will be grayed out and we'll see a red exclamation point next to the layer. Now, the easiest way to fix this, if you happen to know where that data is, is to simply click on the red exclamation mark. Because what ArcMap is telling us is that it knows that at some point we had this layer in here, it's remembered how we want it to be symbolized, but it just can't find the data. So, if we happen to know where that data is, we can simply browse to it, select our correct layer, and click Add. Now, if you're not sure what layer it's referring to, for example, you've renamed it here and perhaps you don't recall what the original shapefile or feature class was called, what we can do is actually look at the properties of the layer. And to do that, I simply right-click on the name of the layer, and select Properties. And if my Source tab is not already highlighted, go ahead and select your Source tab. And we'll see here under Data Source that our previous location is identified. Now it's not uncommon that if I had moved this MXD and perhaps some of the source data from, say, a flash drive or from someone else's computer or the network, that I might see a different path here. And if this is the case, and I know where that data resides, I can simply click on the Set Data Source button, which brings up the same window that we had earlier. And I can simply select my correct layer and click Add, then click OK. And if I've done this correctly, I should now see states outlined on my map. And there they are. Now, if you find that you're running into this a lot, let's say that you copy an MXD and some source data from flash drives or between computers a lot, and this is becoming kind of a pain to have to go through this step every time, something that might help is to actually use relative paths. And relative paths will essentially take out the first part of the file name syntax when ArcMap is opening a document. So as long as the file structure stays the same, that means that your data isn't moving around uh, in different subfolders, but just on different systems, then this may help. You can go to File, go to Document Properties, Data Source Options, and make sure that this option, this radio button, is selected so that now your data source options are set to store relative path names to data sources. And if you check this box here, you can make this the default for new documents that you create. And that's it. So remember to save your project, but if you do decide to send your MXD to someone else, do remember that you also have to package up all the data layers. If somebody receives your MXD and they don't have the data, they're going to essentially see the missing layers referenced but have absolutely no way to connect to your original data sources.